So this guy was hoping that he was going to find these areas destitute mm -hmm. of people that could fight. John Hircanis. Go ahead. However, it was not till the sixth month that he took Madaba, and that not without the greatest distress of his army. Mm -hmm. After this, he took Samega mm -hmm. and the neighboring places, and besides these, Shechem and Gerizim, and the nation of the Kuthians. And the nation of the Kuthians. But now, skip down to paragraph 257 mm -hmm. and read. Let's see what else Hyrcanus did. Go ahead. Hyrcanus took also Dora and Marissa, mm -hmm. cities of Idumia. And then he took the city of Idumia. That's the Greek word for Edom, Esau. He took the cities of Esau. They had been staying in southern Palestine since the children of Israel when the captivity of Nebuchadnezzar about 400 years ago from this time. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. And subdued all the Idumians. And he subdued all the Idumians. And what else he did? And permitted them to stay in that country if they would circumcise their genitals and make use of the laws of the Jews. He said if they would circumcise their genitals and make use of the laws of the Jews. In other words, start doing exactly what Israel were doing. And we already seen that Edom was a black nation. Mm -hmm. So now you got a black nation being forced to do exactly what the Jews, who were also a black nation, were doing. Two black nations keeping the commands of the God. But go ahead and read. And they were so desirous of living in the country of their forefathers that they submitted to the use of circumcision and the rest of the Jewish ways of living. Mm -hmm. At which time, therefore, this befell them, that they were hereafter no other than Jews. After this time, it said the Edomites were not other than Jews. Because they were doing exactly what the Jews were doing. And they were also a black race of people. So you got Edomites who were a black race of people doing exactly what the Jews were doing, who were also a black race of people. Mm -hmm. So how do you know today that you don't come from this black race of people? You just claiming Israel, but you don't really know that you're Israel. Well, we were in the captivity. We're going to look at that. Mm -hmm. But I want you to go down to footnote, still in here, mm -hmm. footnote 8, because we're going to see that this is not only uh, John Kirkcannon did not only do this to the nation of Edom, he did this to other nations. It's right here. Put no A. I got it more. Why well, I want you to start right here. Right here. Go ahead. But still, take out of Dean Prado, who was another historian. Go ahead. At the year 129, the words of Ammonius, mm -hmm. a grammarian, mm -hmm. which fully confirmed this account of the Idumeans and Josephus. So this guy confirmed his account, meaning what Josephus said is true. Yeah. But look what else he points out that John Harkanen did. Go ahead. The Jews, says he, are such by nature and from the beginning. He said the Jews are such by nature and from the beginning. In other words, the Jews are actually Jews by blood. Right. But go ahead and read. Are such by nature and from the beginning, but Phoenicians... Oh, no, but Phoenicians, those are Canaanites. Yeah. But Canaanites, and who else? And Syrians. Who are Am um, Morite, no, not Amorite, but Arama, Aramite. They come from Aram. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But being afterwards subdued by the Jews mm -hmm. and compelled to be circumcised. Wait a minute. You got the Canaanite, a black nation, yeah. and the Syrians, a black nation, who were subdued by the Jews, a black nation. And what did the Jews force them to do? Go ahead. And to unite into one nation. And to do what? Unite into one nation and be subject to the same laws. They were called Jews. Oh, look, they were called Jews, too? Mm -hmm. So you got Edomites who were black that were called Jews. You got Canaanites who were black that were called Jews. And you got Syrians who were black and were called Jews. And they were forced to become Jews. All of these black nations. But you know that you're from Israel. <laughs> and we're going to show you that these same nations right here went into captivity with Israel. So that kills your little, I'm Israel because I went into captivity. Well, we're going to say they went into captivity along with Israel. So how do you know if these people went into captivity? When you go into captivity, they take everybody's identity. They need to say, well, since you eat them, we're going to let you retain your identity. But all you Hebrews, nah, we're going to erase your identity. No, they put them all in captivity and they took all their identity. Meaning, it's some Edomites walking around here right now that don't know they eat them. It's some Canaanites walking around here right now that don't know they from Canaan. It's some Syrians walking around here right now that don't know they're from Syria, and they all black. Israel ain't the only person that lost their identity. Everybody loses their identity when they go into slavery. But keep reading. Mm -hmm. 
that country. Oh, Dio also says, which is another historian. Go ahead. As the dean there quotes him from book chapter 36, verse 31. 37. 36. Oh, 36.37. Mm -hmm. That country is also called Judea and the people Jews. And this name is given also to as many others as embrace their religion, though of other nations. Wait a minute. The Jews call anybody that converted over to their religion Jew? Yeah. And this all took place before the New Testament even was written. So that means when you read the New Testament, when you read about the Jews, that means you ain't just reading about Jews by blood. You read about people that converted over to them too. And the Jews themselves did the conversion. These are your proselytes, which we're going to take a look at. But it goes even further than that. Let's go back and deal with Edom a little bit. Let's go to the Bible Dictionary, page 156, on the Edom. Because it said Edom was forced to do that. But what happened to Edom after he was forced to do that? Page 156. They don't get this technical with it. They don't get this detail with it. Edom is the white man. Hate the white man. For all you know, you could be Edom. Hmm. Edom is going to hell. For all you know, you could be Edom. Esau was black with red hair. He married three black women. His daddy and mama was black. His granddaddy was black. His great great granddaddy was black. But you want to be like, no, oh, he white. Can't read that nowhere in the book. They called him Esau because he was hairy. And they said he was red all over. He was covered with red hair. Red like a hairy garment. The only way to cover red is like a hairy garment if you're dealing with a red, hairy garment. This is common sense. But then again, common sense is not common everywhere anymore. But I got the mark I want you to read from. Go ahead. After this, they settled in southern Palestine. This is talking about after God destroyed their land of Bozrah. And Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Israel. This is about the Edomite. They um, settled in southern Palestine. Go ahead and read. And for more than four centuries continued to prosper. Mm -hmm. But during the warlike rule of the Maccabees, of the Maccabees, they were again completely subdued. And we just read that, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And even forced to conform to Jewish laws and rights. We also read that. Go ahead. And submit to the government of Jewish prefects. Mm -hmm. The Edomites were now incorporated with the Jewish nation. Hold up, the Edomites were what? Incorporated with the Jewish nation. In other words, they lost their identity as a nation. The name of Edom at this time in history disappeared from the history book. But how did that happen? Because they incorporated themselves into the Jewish nation. They lost their identity as a nation. They are now, at this point, living among the Jews. And they were black. Just like the Jews. So if they were walking around today, you would not be able to tell them apart from a black Hebrew Israelite. But it goes even further than that. Now, let's go back to Josephus. Antiquities 13.11.1. And let's see what John Hurkanen son did. 13.11.1 and paragraph 301 at the very beginning. Go ahead. Now when their father Hyrcanus was dead, the eldest son, Aristobulus, intending to change the government into a kingdom, for so he resolved to do, first of all put a dedum on the head, on his head. So he put a crown on, go ahead. For 100, 481 years and three months after the people had been delivered from the Babylonish slavery mm -hmm. and were returned to their own country again. Now this is what this guy Aristobulus, Aristobulus did, right? But now, skip down to paragraph 318. And let's see what else he did. 318, right here, go ahead. He was called a lover of the Grecians. Mm -hmm. And he conferred, and had conferred many benefits on his own country. He said he conferred many benefits on his own country. He was a Hebrew Israelite, so he conferred many benefits on his own country. Go ahead. And made war against... Iteria. He made war against who? Iteria. And what did he do? And added a great part of it to Judea. Mm -hmm. And compelled the inhabitants, if they would continue in that country, to be circumcised. Mm -hmm. And to live according to the Jewish laws. So he took the Iturians 